When the sound of the ball game rings out at two Kelowna parks this year, hopefully it won't be followed by the sound of breaking glass. 40-foot high nets have gone up at Lombardi Park along Clement Avenue and are also being installed at Edith Gay Park in Rutland. Area residents have been lobbying for years to protect their homes from damage, including one woman whose home on Crease Road backs onto the field. Yeah, like starting about two, three years ago, it got substantially worse. And I think it was just like, you know, the, the level of players being back there and we're just with technology. Um, I know that under AAA, under 18 and the college prep team, and there's a few guys that had gotten scholarships to play in the States. You know, that's where they were they were playing. So it wasn't just, you know, T-ball and little leagues. She says balls have come flying into her yard and her neighbor's backyard shop has been hit several times. Cowton is pleased the city listened to the complaints of nearby residents and did something about it. She kept pressing city councillors and city staff to find the money in the budget and it was approved last year. The price tag for the net installation was an estimated $250,000 with $77,000 coming from the Sports Field Reserve Fund. The net said Edith Gay Park protect not just the homes on Crease Road but also those across the street on Clausen Road. The net said Lombardi Park should safeguard traffic on Clement and users of the Okanagan Rail Trail. That project cost about $100,000. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.